skills through workforce and education to compete for jobs in demand. Amen. We know that part of the solution is raising wages and changing our immigration laws. Yes. And all of these issues are on our agenda this afternoon. So we're here for an accountability session. And we hold ourselves accountable too. That's why we created programs like Capital Idea. Yeah. Austin ISD's Prime Time After School Program. And we helped develop the Parent Support Specialist. We continue to fight for justice for immigrants and their families, for the economically disadvantaged, and for homeless persons who find themselves in even more peril because of city laws that criminalize sitting, lying down, and handling, and camping. Did you know that we have expanded into the five-county area where we now work with over 60 congregations and other organizations? Yay! So as you heard from Father Paul, our leaders in Hayes County are meeting right now, holding an accountability session, and we have two more in Williamson and Bastrop counties. Because the legislature continues to threaten to starve local governments of funding or overturn city policies, we must have a presence in those areas as well. We are in a church, so amen is a perfectly great response. Amen. Yeah, don't hold back now. We hold ourselves accountable by getting out the vote for our sign up and take charge campaign. By election time, we will have led over 40 block walks. Our commitment is to sign up over 10,000 voters in Travis County on our agenda of issues and deliver those persons to the polls. Yeah. If you know the work of Austin Interfaith, we're not just getting names written down on paper. We are building a network of voters who are connected through face-to-face -face conversations in congregations, in schools, in social service organizations, in unions, and in neighborhoods. We are not paid professionals. We are a peaceable army of ordinary citizens working toward a community where everyone can flourish, where everyone has a place at the table. We know that justice does not happen by accident. Justice happens through struggle and commitment. Justice happens when we hold our leaders and ourselves accountable. And justice happens when we lift up those who are most vulnerable in our communities. So as we meet today, may we find ways to do justice to love kindness, and to walk humbly with our God. Thank you, Reverend Elford. Over the past year, we did over 300 house meetings, met with over 3,000 people from our community, and that is how we developed our agenda of issues. It was ratified at the beginning of summer at a delegate's assembly with over 150 people in attendance. Before you listen to the agenda, we will be hearing personal story of how our agenda items affect the personal lives of people in our community. Today, we're going to have a story about workforce development. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> I speak a little loudly. My name is Karina Malone. I'm an Austin Interfaith Meet leader, president of the Community Tenants Association, and a proud Capital ID graduate. I knew 
I wanted to be an accountant, but at the age of 18, I found out I was having my first child. I attempted to pursue my passion. I attended Austin Community College, and I learned, like so many others, that having a child, going to school, and working was really tough. <laughs> so I put my passion to the side, and I focused on being a mom. Several years later, with two children in tow, and a few layoffs, I was more determined than ever to get back into school. While attending ACC, I learned about Capital Idea. Capital Idea provided mentorship, they paid for tuition, books, and childcare. All of this allowed me to be a better mother, but more importantly, a better student. Unlike many other nonprofits, I'm tangible evidence that Capital Idea is effective. We know that their return on investment is high, and we know that this benefits the community. <laughs> After graduating from ACC, I didn't just have a job. I wasn't just able to provide for my family. I was able to move my journey forward. Today, I have a bachelor's degree. I'm a business owner, and I serve my community in various roles. Before Capital Idea, I was on government assistance. After Capital Idea, I made close to $100,000. Capital Idea didn't just allow me to graduate from ACC, but provided me, a woman of color that lives in Travis County, an opportunity to pursue my passion and serve our community. Capital Idea was formed by organizing community leaders who saw the need to create a program and lift people out of poverty. The long-term benefits of our community are real, and we, can, we will continue working with our elected officials to make sure that Capital Idea is a budget priority. Thank you, Ms. Malone. Now we have a story about affordability. Ladies and gentlemen, my grandmother cooked, cleaned, and washed starch clothes to buy our home in 1928. My family and I inherited a home in East Austin when she passed away. The gift was taken away from us due to high property taxes. We had no choice but to sell our home. Despite working full-time 17 years in a children's clinic and successfully raising three children, I became homeless and had to live in a garage that belonged to my adult children for two years. And I would still be there if it wasn't for the Guadalupe Association, Neighborhood Association, who provided a home for me in East Austin. <laughs> One day, I kept driving by my home, still thinking it's my home, and it was torn down. Oh. My heart died with it.